Welcome back. I know, I know. It's been like a week. Seems like forever since I made a video. Anyway, this is day 30 of my 50 day challenge doing VCV rec experiments. Yes, I have skipped some days uh, in the past week. It's been really busy at work and I've just been exhausted and coming home with headaches and stuff. So I've taken a bit of a break. I did upload one track, day 29, that I didn't make a video for, but you can check it out on SoundCloud. It's there. And then today we got VCV Rack 061. And I made this patch. Okay, as you can maybe see at the top, we have some icons here that have replaced the menu. I think it's better, although it's a little bit more busy up here now. And uh, one major feature is this, the power meter, which uh, will show us how much each module is using and uh, it totals to 1000 millisamples and this is important especially if you are uh, using patches that are very resource hungry when this goes down to zero on the audio uh, module then you have a problem and you get skips so this way it's nice to see what each module is doing except here it's covered by these patch cables mm. anyway that's a really cool feature not so cool is uh, when you have the menu here browsing through the modules if you go here for example all the tags have disappeared and we just have this which isn't something really useful on the right side i'd rather have the tags because they actually give us some information another thing is when you go into a tag uh, i didn't want to start that one yet uh, when you go into a tag, say you say this one, okay, I don't want this one, I want another one from that tag. Oh, the tag is gone. It doesn't persist anymore like it used to. Now I can imagine some people would prefer that, but I'd rather have it persist. So I think we've lost some of the functionality here um, and then we've gained some on the other side. Oh well, that's life. Uh, people have different ideas about how to progress. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at a patch. Um, yeah, Topograph again, one of my favorite modules for generating rhythm. And today I wanted to try this the NISTI uh, soy model SOU source of uncertainty which is uh, a kind of an imitation modeled on the Bukla 266. One important difference I've noticed though is in the stored random voltage part of this module which is what I'm most interested in. We have two parameters missing and the Buchla has uh, a range, I'm not sure if it's called range, but um, anyway, what this does is it generates random voltages. Now we have a slew here, um, which now is turned down, so it generates more lower on the lower end, random voltage on the lower end, and you can change that to more random voltages on the higher end. And this is of course uh, 
modulatable, is that a word? You can modulate this with CV. So you can input a CV source here to change this slew. But we don't have any control over the range of the randomness. And there's also in the original module a chaos um, parameter, chaos control. Again, uh, do we want random voltages that are sticking close to each other or are more spread out over the whole spectrum of 0 to 10 volts? Personally, I would really like to have that control and to tame this random voltage. And that's what I'm doing now, sort of, with this utils. Uh, module here, so I'm sending this to the scale and offset and so that we can tame the range of these random voltages. And in this case, I'm sending this to a quantizer, it's uh, randomly set to a mixolydian, and that then goes to the volt per octave input on our resonator. So this is the higher uh, stringy sounding sounds from the resonator. Um, I have here mono modules because I wanted to control the panning. And normally if you put this into a stereo, then you get panned completely left and panned completely right, which I think is just too much. And then the lower sounds come from the same kind of setup down here, another resonator, which sounds more like a struck bowl, you know, these kind of Tibetan bowls. And they're more in the lower range. So, and they are more centered. That's what's going on here. Uh, this lower voice, uh, the struck bowl sounding or vibraphone sounding thing that goes through the tangent filter, high pass filter, and just roll off the very, very low end. And uh, I add some drive, which basically is just some gain case okay so that's how we generate our sounds but then there is also a whole lot of modulation going on here so from this uh, source of uncertainty modules we also have these fluctuating random voltages it's like a kind of random LFO I'm using the smooth and you have the hard one, which is stepped, and a smooth output has a more sine wavy. It's not really a sine because it's more random than that, but it's smoothed out. And this I then also um, send to this scale and offset to then modulate here the fill of this parameter. Uh, the orange one is the trigger for our lower voice and the red one is the trigger for the higher voice. This one is also modulated, which comes from this fluctuating random voltage. I see I'm still sending it to this kind of set, but I'm actually not using the output here, so I can just remove that here. And let's save it with our new save button. Yeah, I was looking into uh, doing more modulation, maybe cutoff or resonance or damping, but all that didn't sound right. So I ended up just modulating basically the parameters of topograph. Uh, we also have the map and 
can see it comes from these slow limiters because I don't want two sudden changes. Right? So these uh, slow down the changes. And this comes from the quantized random voltage, which is stepped really. So it's good to have some slow on that if you don't want two sudden changes. Um, this one gets a pulse here from the fluctuating random voltage. It sends a pulse when it's above uh, 0.5 or above 5 volts, I guess. Um, and this gets a pulse from this trigger. I'm also sending another one, another smooth random voltage to this slow limiter, which then goes to the Y parameter of the map, while the chaos is modulated from this part over here. And then I'm using the attenuverter to really limit the range of this one because I don't want too much chaos here. I want a pretty slow melody that just keeps slowly going, like a relaxing walk in the park or something. Alright, and then we also have a retardo here, uh, which is clouds in its looping delay mode, uh, mostly used here for a very nice reverb. So I'm using this in looping delay mode, right? Then this the start time turned down, the overlap duration turned up, and the reverb turned up. And it's just beautiful, I think. I still have a lot of work to do so I'm not promising to do a patch every day but if I can I will so check back subscribe if you haven't already and uh, see you next time